What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Dream with the T. If this is your first time here on my channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's help the channel grow. Today, I want to touch on narcissists. We always talk about narcissists when it comes down to intimate relationships. But what about narcissist abuse you can experience from your own parent? Yo, mama, growing up, a lot of us is unhealed from our childhood trauma, especially when you've been emotionally abused and abandoned from your parents. The first person and people in this world that falls to show you love and show you trust and caring is your parents. And sometimes that do not happen for various reasons. Your parents could be suffering from mental illness themselves. They could be suffering from substance abuse problems. They have childhood trauma, but whatever the reason that they, whatever they got going on, they be unemotional development to your needs, and they not mean your needs growing up as a child, and it can feel like abandonment. It can break down your self esteem, make you not feel worthy, make you not feel good enough. Because at the end of the day, if your parents don't see your value, who else will? That's how a child feel. You first get your first compliment, your first praise, your first you can do it from your parents. But you got parents who not coming out to support you and your visions, your dream as a child. It shoots down your self-esteem. Let's say you one of them kids who want to be on the cheerleader team or the basketball team want to play sports, want to be in the band, want to be play the piano, whatever it is, and your parents not coming out to support your dreams and telling you you good enough or telling you you worthy, and then you got some of us who was the black sheep of the family, the black sheep kid, the kid that was singled out for whatever reason because your mama might didn't like your daddy, but she liked it your brother and sister daddy, but she ain't like your daddy, so you was singled out or because you was the one look different out the group. You know, it just be shit like that going on for real. And a lot of these mothers do not hold themselves accountable for being a narcissist towards their children. They will never own up to how they damage their children. And I feel like the best apology you can give to your child is acknowledging their feelings, acknowledging you was not there. You was not emotionally available for them for whatever reasons, because you had your own things going on. But you have to acknowledge your shortcomings in order for that child to heal. If you do not, it can cause that child to take that to their adulthood when it come down to day in choosing partners you will find yourself sometimes choosing the same type of partner that your parent was the emotionally parent that was not even was not um around for you that was not caring you will start choosing the same type of bad um partners who treat you bad who don't treat you like you worthy because you feel like that's you not worthy your self-esteem shot you don't feel like you worthy of love so you accept the very minimum because you never got it from home you accept abuse you accept the cheating you accept people putting their hands on you lying cheating you accept the very minimum because that's all you think you worth and that come from a lot from unhealed child trauma from your parents not being emotional develop um emotional available to you Especially a mother. It is harder for a mother. I feel like it's double standards because you are the mother. And it's just how it go. Me as a mother myself, I know that. Now they say mama's babies, daddy babies. I feel like as a mother, you are whole more accountable to be part of that child life. Because it was in your womb. You did, It grew in you. You had it. The daddy can get on. They don't got to be around. Like that child going to look to you for everything. That is how I go in my opinion as a mother. So that being said, man, as a narcissist mom, we all made mistakes. We human. But if you know you wasn't emotionally emotional there and did not support your children the way you should have for whatever reason, what you had going on, apologize to that child. Even if they 30 or 40, they appreciate that. You don't know how you not taking accountability, how you not coming around and meeting your shortcomings and your wrong. It's hindering that child from growth. That can that can save your child to keep going through bad relationships, choosing the wrong partner. You just taking accountability and saying, hey, I'm sorry. I know I wasn't there. I know I could have been more supportive. I know you a good person. I love you. Things like that can really heal that child as an adult so they can choose better people. They can gain the confidence they need to move forward in their career. Sometimes you can be holding your child up just by not taking accountability. And it can cause a lot of negativity in that child's life. Depression, suicide ideations, low self-esteem, choosing bad partners, man. We got to take accountability. 
you got to learn how to take accountability. I'm speaking to all the mothers out there. If you know you wasn't there in your child life, man, go apologize, man. Move your pride to the side. Go apologize to your child. I don't care if they 50, 40, they still will appreciate that apology. That apology and you acknowledging your shortcomings go a long way. People understand, people are human, ain't none of us perfect. But actually taking accountability and saying, hey, I know I was wrong for not being there. Hey, I know I didn't support you in this. You are a good person. You can do it. That's going to mean so much to that child to move forward and choose better people and do better. But drop your comments below. You have suffered from this type of abuse growing up, neglect. Abandonment as you suffer from these type of issues, man. Drop your comments below, man. This is a support video right now for people who are actually going through this, not feeling like they worthy, not feeling like they good enough because they never got that love from home. Drop your comments below. And also, if you going through this, even if your parent don't come back and apologize, your mom not that type of mature mom. Go get some therapy, man. If it's really bringing you down and not allowing you to move forward in your career because you don't feel like you're good enough or choosing toxic relationships and going through domestic abuse, get yourself some help. Get some mental health treatment. If you got free insurance, you got Medicaid, call the back of your insurance card. Call the government. Get the assistance. See as a provider in your area. They got so many programs out here like telehealth. Get on Google. Get on the internet. Get on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. It's so much stuff on TikTok. Like it's so much stuff on platforms now. Free therapy or people just offering affordable therapy, one-on-one -on -one consultations, life coaches. Get some help, man. It's so much help out here. You could do it all easy now from your home remotely. Telehealth. Get seek some help, man, like because that can really hold you up from growth when you're not healed from your childhood. People don't understand how those earlier years really can impact your later years. Not having that self esteem, not having that self confidence, not feeling like you're worthy like those, those moments mean a lot. That's why it's so important to praise your kids. Give your kids their flowers, something they can do and support what they're trying to do. If they know what they want to do, man, stand 10 toes behind your child. Free game, y'all.